Alrighty, we are back in the game with some more Napoleon Total War. Uh, the Peninsula Campaign. And the Peninsula would be the Iberian Peninsula. Right here. There it is. Uh, we have a provocateur. Which is actually a French word, isn't it? Which is being given to uh, a Portuguese agent. Who's going to go and cause some trouble for the French. Look at that for irony. I believe that is irony, isn't it? Now, I believe you have been trying to kill him, Marchand. No, oh, he's got a blasted strong army. Where do they get such strong armies from? We don't have any money. We've got zero coins. We were going bankrupt, weren't we? Yeah, we've got a strong army out there. It can only hold. We can only hold for three turns. They're going to absolutely decimate us because we don't have any artillery or cavalry to fight back with. Are you happy enough that we can send any agents out? No, you're not. You're actually quite upset. You're upset. You're upset with me uh, because I've been overtaxing you. Oh well. I need uh, the money. Okay, what can we do? We've got an agent in here. We know they only have one unit in there. There are French armies out here. They also need to get rid of this one. And these Brits need to move on out. I mean, they've helped. But they need to help more. Much more. Alright, we have an army here. He's going to try and risk killing off one of those. Don't I have more troops? Alright, I have more troops here. And we did capture Madrid. Right. That's two units who are trying to get in. Now he's retraining because he's a guerrilla unit. Guerrilla units can retrain anywhere. They don't need to be in a settlement. They don't need to have a general with them. Okay, he's only got one unit in there. Looks like most of our forces are here. Here, here, and there, trapped in that settlement. What do we have up here? We have you. I think those are remnants from a defeat against that army. Although we did kill quite a few of them. And at least these ones are retraining. Alright, am I doing any research? I am. That is national fervor. Be fervent for your nation, unless of course your nation or its leaders decide to betray the people. Which is happening in a lot of places. Alright. Do we need to move anyone? You're up there keeping an eye on them. You're a provocateur in here. But do I need to send you out? Um, can I send you somewhere more useful, like to kill him? Oh, blast! Not the whole army. I thought I'd click on that agent. Right, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. Yeah, almost took out that whole army to go and fight this whole stack, which we would probably have lost. Alright. Provocateur, provocateur. Who's the one who are doing the assassination? I thought it was the provocateurs. No. He's the one who can assassinate, can't he? He's a gorilla. Gorillero. Yeah, you're the one who's doing assassinations. Alright. We do have a priest here. Um, I mean, it's 100% anti French. But the, the people just are not happy. Alright. Let's see what's going to happen. We're either going to get besieged here, lose this one, and get attacked somewhere up here. Uh, come on, Brits. They've only taken four settlements, or controlled four. Yeah, kind of bankrupt again. Alright, yeah, they've brought in a second army. And who's that guy? 
Moreau. Yeah, he was a famous, famous French general. Look at the number of troops and the quality that they're going to be throwing against us. Well, occupying any of the buildings isn't going to do us any good, is it? Because they'll just blast them with their six artillery batteries. We might be able to put down some stakes and hopefully kill off some of that cavalry. I mean, that's five units. Let's see. Well, I mean, we're going to lose badly. We're going to lose badly. We are in a tough spot. After this recording, I'm going to record some uh, Shogun 2, the Scramble for the Far East mod, which is also set in uh, the 1800s. Uh, the latter half of the 1800s, I think we're in the year 1863 at the moment in that campaign. Uh, but we're actually playing as the French in that one. Um, and we're actually at war with Prussians. Right. Can you put down? You can put down defences. You can put down a lot of defences. Where do we think their cavalry is going to come? Probably on the flanks. Alright. I mean, these are pretty much useless. Unless we can... Well... Unless we can get them to use their bayonets. They just don't get off very many volleys and don't really kill anyone with them. Can you even put down stakes? You can as well. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we can do with these forces. And we've got a unit here. It's going to block off that whole section. And use you to block off them. And use someone else to block off that one. Although we kind of want them closer, don't we? So they can't wiggle through. Like so. Alright, leaving one unit. I kind of want you like uh, that. Right, now you can put down stakes or barricades as they're sometimes called. Hmm. Right. And then we'll just move those units back as well. leaves three more oh two more again I can't count hmm you know what how wide is that is that fairly wide the barricade is Leaves just one more. This would be a very wide one. All right. So it's pretty much suicidal for the cavalry to come through here. They might come around. All right. Hmm, how do we want to move? I mean, they can destroy these buildings fairly easily with their artillery. We won't get too many easy shots on us. Can't we get in the church? Is there anything on the tombstones like there is in Medieval 2? Are there any names? If there are. The resolution isn't quite good enough. Kind of looks like there should have been something on there. Uh, because in Medieval 2, you can actually read the inscriptions on the tombstones of actual people. 
Right, they do have chasseurs moving. And we don't need to stand there with all of those units. Do we? In fact, we should just use those trash units to man the barricades. If we need anyone to do that. Yeah, they're spread out all over the place. They've got some cavalry coming in on this one. So I told you to move away from there as well. Get on over there. Alright, let's pull you back. Then we can have multiple units firing. Ooh, we won't get in a very good position there. Right. Get you forming up over there. One more. Doesn't look like they've been firing with the artillery much at the moment. Does it? Yeah, those ones are trying to sneak around. I can have somebody firing uh, this unit. All right. Oh, they've actually sent their general right up through the middle. He's already lost two. Well, that was rather stupid, but it was also very good for us. What was his name? Moreau, wasn't it? Yeah, go on, run into those stakes because you don't have uh, carbines. You only have swords. Yeah, he's going to die. That's not going to break the morale of their units. Uh, I can see some, a cavalry unit trying to sneak through here. Of course they get a, a very good volley. But uh, let them try to get through there. We don't really have anyone defending up here. Alright. Well we know where that unit is coming. So let's have you back them up. Yeah, go on, try to get through those barricades. Might as well have a close-up or two, because this is going to be... Well, once our morale collapses, it will end very quickly, but at the moment it's holding out. So might as well have some close-ups. Yeah, you can actually make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller, and even make it disappear completely. And if you press, I think it's K, K, OK, can't we, um, I swear we could have hit the UI. Alright, maybe not. Oh, where's their general right now? Did he pull back? Where is their general? They're only just deploying the, that artillery and that one. Where did our general go? Oh, he managed to get through. Look, he did manage to get through. Yay! All right, good for us. Good for us. Yeah. Of course, they're going to exact some revenge for that. But Moreau, uh, Jean Victor Marie Moreau, 
Are they trying to get into melee with us? You just hold your ground. You hold your ground. You don't need to move out because you've got good defensive positions. Yeah, that one's actually overlapping. They got more cavalry coming around in this direction. Now we could go into square with this one, couldn't we? Might look a bit weird, but also not so much. Because they are cavalry. The best thing to do with cavalry is form square. Right, they've broken through there. Um, no surprise. You should be firing though. Yeah, you're all going to be in melee. Fairly soon, we lost two of them. Alright, run. Here comes their cavalry. Alright, so that's three of those, and blasted militia with most of them. And this one's already wavering, and he's got 160 men. We might as well commit him. Alright, you're just getting shot to pieces there. We've lost our general, haven't we? Those are going to come around. This is done. Oh, come on. The, look at that. They all quit at the same time. Well, I did say that once our morale breaks, it's, <laughs> it's all going to be over. And there it is. It's all over. We killed 228. That's pathetic. What could I have done better, if anything? Did I destroy the buildings? I should have destroyed the buildings. Let's check. Uh, we actually have some money left over now because we lost ooh, what eight, ten units. Uh, okay, agent executed. Ah, he was the one trying to assassinate him, and he managed to come on down from there and get ahead of us. Right, we can send that cavalry around. It's not going to help much. You'll have to come back up there. Have we got a French agent in here? No, it's a Portuguese agent. Alright. He's a provocateur. He's a provocateur. Alright, then I'll send him in here. He's going around a long way though. Last. Uh, workers on strike in my capital, I think, isn't it? Yeah, not as bad as it looks. We did lose that army. We didn't recruit anyone. If they come for us, um, we'll probably spawn about four trash units. We just have to try to send out our cavalry and kill whatever we can. We don't have any fortifications on any of our settlements, do we? Yeah. There's no settlements that have fortifications. We can't even build any fortifications, can we? Unlike in Empire Total War. Alrighty. See, that army still hasn't moved. He's moved. We could go up here and sack that one. We're going through their zone of control? It looks. I swear, we just walked right through their zone of control and got away with it. Alright. Well, I see another general up here. That is Jean Rapp. Good chance. We got him. Good. We got him. Um, we also need to get out of his army because if his army gets killed somehow, we lose that agent. Right. So we have another one. This one. He can do assassinations. Can't he? 
No. You're a gorilla. Why can't you do anything to him? Right. You're a gorilla. You're a gorilla. So you assassinated. Why can't you assassinate him? Or can you? 33%. Try it. Can you actually reach him? Yeah, you can. Didn't help. There's a Masonic Lodge there. Two more turns and we will have National Fervor. Plus one to morale in battles. We desperately need that. Uh, do we even have any proper generals left? We can just look in the lists, can't we? Let's see if they're in here. We don't have any real generals. All our armies have been commanded by captains. Alright, so he got through there. We can't do much because we just don't have any other units. I mean, that's our one and only real army there, apart from that one. You're currently garrisoning them. Though it looks like we could get most of them out. And we wouldn't need all of them to kill off those. We need to take out those. They've got the young guard in there. Alright. What we have a quick battle and try to kill them off. Try to get some revenge for losing that settlement. Now the order resolve won't give us a victory. We've got about 160 more men. Now they've got more range because they've got 12 pounders. Yeah, they've got a lot more range. Um, could we take them? Could we take them? A bit close battle. I could always move out some more units, but sometimes it's fun having the smaller battles. It's easier to micro manage them, and we do have um, guerrilla units, so we can deploy them inside our zone of control. All right, where's a good position to put that artillery, if any? Would you actually be able to see anything from there? Like I said, we got less range, but I think here's fairly decent position to put them. Right, it's four guns. Right, you also have uh, was it Vanguard deployment, isn't it? Well, do you? No, you don't. I'm either one of them. Right. Let's put those together though, up there. We'll leave those two in the middle. And we could always deploy them up here on the flank, couldn't we? Right, it's not going to let me deploy them because it's just outside over on this one we can couldn't we deploy them over there we don't know where all their units are going to be we've only got five units in any case right let's go for it they're already blasting away and getting uh, Hits on me. Is that their cavalry? Yep. Can you not reach them? Alright, that's their movement. Well, their firing arc there. Can you actually not see them? Uh, I say you can see them. They're still managing to hit that unit. Alright, we've got 107 cavalry. Could we not take out their one? Alright, they've got hidden units in any case. Let's come forward. 
I know it means uh, exposing ourselves. But we need to know where their other units are. So they've got another line infantry and they've got a light infantry somewhere. I don't think the young guard looks too much different from the uh, fusiliers if I remember. I'm looking at them before. Yeah, they look very similar. Alright, still have not discovered uh, the units. They're going to pop up very soon. Or they should. Still no sign of them. That one bounced right over them. Alright, I'm going to minimise that. They're really not interested in moving out, are they? There they are. Now we see you. Now they're moving. Right. Stop. Right. You've got 60 men. Going after those. That's their general. Well, we killed about half of them. Now they're going to try charging forward. Now to 22. He's down to 13. Get out of there. I ordered him out. You've taken out that unit, right? Get out of there and recover your morale. Right, can that artillery actually hit them? Almost looks like it could. Right, that hurt their morale. Oh, those ones are gone. Run them down. Looks like we will get a win. Right, stop right there. Those ones going down. That one's not taking many casualties, is it? firing, keep firing. Have you not taken out that whole unit? Are we getting any friendly fire? I think we are. Blast. That was a uh, only 58. I think we need to send that cavalry right through the middle. Alright, we did, we got them. 
Back off. Back off. That one's gone. All right. All of you and all of me. Run them down. No, you will not be getting away. You will not make it back over the Pyrenees to France. Your grave will be unmarked in the Iberian Peninsula. And then, as I said, we'll go and play as the French in the um, Scramble for the East mod for Shogun 2. Hopefully there won't be too many dead Frenchmen in that campaign. Many of them left. Thirteen. Get in there. All right. Speed up even more because I've gone past my time limit. Plus victory. Right. Well, we got it. Get back in there. So we cleared out a little force. Didn't really make up for losing that one. And was that the other army? It was it over here? No, there it is. That's now going to head on down to Cordoba. Ooh, our capital's going to be in trouble. We've got full stack, full stack, full stack, full stack. And another full stack. Alright, but that is the end of this episode. Hopefully we can draw some of their forces with this one. And um, just sack those settlements until we lose the army. Try to get as much money as possible and recruit at these other settlements. But that's the end of this one.